Hey there, John Morris here, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to upload files to your server, or allow your users to upload files to your server. So, <clears throat> we talked about how to create folders, how to create files, now we're going to talk about how to upload them. So, the first thing that you need in order to upload files to your web server is a form, a form that will allow the users to do that. So, uh, on our demo.php page here, I've created a, a simple form that will allow just that. And there's a couple things that we need in order to make this work. First off, um, you'll notice that the form has this ENC type, and it's called multi-part multi slash form data. Um, we'll need this uh, essentially so that the form will be able to upload the file. So um, really not much to explain there except to just put that in there. Um, the action is going to be this uploader.php script, which is the script that we're going to go over here that actually does all of the file uploading and moving and, and things like that. And of course, the method is post, pretty much always use that. And then we're going to have an input type that uh, states the max file size of 100,000 bytes. Now, this can easily be uh, moved around and and someone can easily get around that but we're gonna I'm gonna show you in PHP how you can uh, also uh, protect against file size as well and then um, of course we have the actual input for the file you notice that we have the input and we have the name that we give to it which is going to be important so the name of this input and the type is set to file so that uh, HTML will display the correct uh, interface for uploading a file and then of course we have our uh, submit button okay so really the important things here are that are different are this ENC uh, type here and then the name of the input that has the type of file okay so those are going to be the important things to remember so what that's going to do is is, it, is that's going to create a page that looks like this where someone can go in and choose a file it'll bring up this screen they select a file and it'll populate and then they can upload the file okay so that's that's what that form creates of course HTML can't process any of that any of the form uh, data or, or anything with the file so we need PHP to do that so the important thing to keep in mind is that when this um, when this occurs when you create this form uh, and it passes the, the data from this form to your action script, your uploader.php file, is going to create an array, and that array is going to be called files. Okay? And that's the array. Just like when we use get and post, and we can use post to get uh, form data, or we can use get to get uh, data in a URL, this is a um, um, an array that we can use to get the data out of a uh, form uh, when we're dealing with files so um, that that's very important to know now if we come back over and let's go ahead and just upload a file we'll do this php.info and we'll hit upload file okay what I've done is you'll notice if we come back over notice I've done a print R on this files array so we can see what's actually in the array and so you'll see that we have an, uh, it's going to be a multi-level multi-dimensional array and so we have array and it's called uploaded file which if you remember that's the name that we gave to our um, input over here so that's why this is important because it's going to create an array with that name okay and then it, in the the value of that uh, that key is going to be another array which was what makes it a multi-dimensional array and it's going to store the name the temp name and the size of the file that was uploaded okay so what's going on here well um, we have the name which is the original name from our uh, local uh, file directory windows whatever that uh, we have for the name um, for the file the type is what kind of file it is um, doesn't really matter at this point um, 
and then the temp name is the name that our server gave to it when it uploaded the file so when you select that um, when you select and upload that file our server is going to upload it and store it in a temporary location okay well we need to know where it got stored at so we can put it where we want it to go and we need to know that name well this temp name variable tells us that and then of course we have the size of the file okay so what do we do with our script then well we come into our script and the first thing that we want to do is we want to set our target path where do we want to upload this file well if you come over you'll notice we have our htdocs folder that we've been working with and we go into uploads and actually have upload file you'll see that it's successfully uploaded there but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it we want to we want to put it in this uploads folder okay so we just set that here we want to put it in the uploads folder now what we want to do is we want to create the full path to where we want to store the file and what name we want to use so we use our target path and we uh, use that to create the folder that we're going to put it in and then we use this base name and we use the files uploaded file and name and if we come back over to our array here you'll notice that that the name is the php info.php so we want to save this file as that name okay so essentially what this target path is going to do is it's going to uh, save this file in the uploads folder as php info.php as the original uh, name of the file okay so we create that now um, in order to actually move the file we're just gonna uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and move this down just a second here and we're gonna focus in on this part right here okay now in order to actually move the file where we want it to go and give it the name that we want it to have we have to use this function called move uploaded file which is a PHP function and so let's go to the manual and you see that we have move uploaded file and it accepts uh, two parameters the file name of the uploaded file and the destination of the moved file okay so you notice that in our uh, script here we use the temp name of the file for the file name because that's the file that we're working with the one that got saved on our server in a temporary location and if we look at our uploader.php that is this uh, path here so the server needs to know which file and it got saved here in this temporary folder and there's this temporary file so this is the one that we need to use for the file name okay that's the actual file on our server now you come back to our script then the second one is where do we want it what was the destination we want to save it as well that's this target path that we created up here we want to create it as um, and we have to tell it the specific file name that's why we specify the file name in here as well okay so this essentially uh, this function is going to take that temporary file that got created when we submitted the form and it's going to take that file and move it into the folder that we want it to go into our uploads folder and give it the name that we want it to have which is the original uh, name of the file on our local uh, hard drive which was php uh, info.php okay all right so that's what that does and then of course it returns you'll notice it returns a boolean so it returns true or false so we can run a check on it if this uh, function execute successfully then we can say the file has been uploaded and if it doesn't then we can say there was an error uploading file please try again okay so that's what's happening that's the main core of uh, what's happening with the file now there's a couple things that you're probably going to want to check for at, at, at a base level when it comes to uh, your files and so I'm going to cover those because they're important one is the file size you're typically going to want to um, uh, set a max file size that you allow now we talked about how in the form you can use this max file size but that's easy for someone who knows what they're doing to get around because it's just HTML with our PHP though you'll notice in our array we have the size in bytes so we can actually use that in order to create a PHP script that will check the file size and if it's greater than what our allowed file size is then we can um, 
cause the script to fail. Okay, so that's what this conditional statement is here. You notice we're using files, upload a file, and the size. And if it's less than 2,000 bytes, then go ahead and execute this script. Otherwise, we come down here to this else, and we can echo out a statement that says the file is too big. So we know that the file that we just tried to upload is 22 bytes. So let's go in here, and let's change this from 2,000 to 21. So now, if the file is bigger than um, 21 bytes, it's not going to let it upload. And let's go, and we've deleted that there. Okay, so let's go back to our demo.php page, and we're going to choose a file, and we're going to use phpinfo.php. We're going to open it, upload it, you notice we get this error, the file is too big. Okay, It's still going to give us all our data in our array because it did save it as a temporary file, but it's not going to move it. Okay, So it's not going to actually save it to the, um, the hard memory on the server. Okay, So we get the error, the file is too big. And if we come to back to our script, you'll see that's what we have here. Now, uh, and you, if we come back to our folder, you'll see that the file, we can refresh this, uh, the file wasn't saved. Okay, so it's not there. All right, so now let's change this back to, let's change this to 23 so it'll allow it. And we save. And let's go back, choose a file, phpinfo.php, upload file, and now you'll see the file has been uploaded. If we go to our folder, there's our php .php info .php file. Okay. All right, so let's delete that and let's go back. Now there's another check that you probably want to run, and that's going to be for uh, making sure that it's the right kind of file. All right, so we have another check right here that checks to see um, what type of file it is. And then uh, if it's not the right kind of file, it'll uh, echo out an error. Okay, so the type of file we're looking for is a PHP file. So how do we do that? Well, we know that the name of the file is phpinfo.php. And we're always going to have that extension at the end. Okay, uh, PHP, it could be JPEG, it could be PNG, whatever particular file types you're checking for. We know we're always going to have that extension at the end of the file. So what we can do is use the um, substring function. So if we come to the manual, you'll see that the substring function, you pass in the string that you want to um, get the substring of, and then you put in a start and a length. Okay. The start is where in that you're going to start. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to start at a negative three. Okay. And that's going to return uh, if we start at negative three and we we don't specify this one, it's going to print these last three. It's going to get save that. So, uh, for example, with this negative two, how uh, we start at negative two, it's going to run to the end of that string and it's going to return us just the e and the f. Okay. Of course, we could set a length, but we really don't need to because we know that the .php extension is always going to be at the end uh, of the file. Okay, so if we come back to our script, that's essentially what I've done. You'll notice I have the name of the file, which is phpinfo.php, and then I have the start as negative three, so it's going to get me the last three letters, which are the PHP part. And then I can check to see, make sure that that um, value equals PHP, because that's the file extension we're looking for. And if it does, we go ahead and let it upload, and if it doesn't, then we uh, put this, you must uh, upload a PHP file. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's come over to our script here. And we'll come back and let's choose a different file type. Let's use HTML. And let's upload the file. You'll see, well, first off, the file is too big actually. So let's change this to back to 2000 because it's greater than 23. Let's refresh and try that again. Okay, now it says you must load, uh, upload a PHP file. So it's not going to let it upload because it's not a PHP file. If we come back over here, you'll see that that file didn't upload. Now, you may be wondering, well, okay, 
what about if I have like for in this example I have HTML and I have PHP which one has three and one has four how do I deal with that because I'm using a negative three here um, if I were to use that on an HTML file it would get TML instead of HTML well the thing to keep in mind is you don't have to worry about what files people may try to upload and what their extensions are be are going to be you only have to worry about what extensions you're going to accept okay because that's what you're checking against so um, if you know that you're going to allow html files and uh, php files then you might do this change this to four so you get the last four and change this to dot php because you know that that's going to be the case and then if you want to allow HTML files, you don't need to put in the dot. You can just put in HTML like this. Okay. So there's there's ways around it. And of course, there's other ways that you could go uh, go through and, and, and run checks on this um, and be able to check what kind of file it is. You could uh, uh, do a implode and, and check the file extension that way. Oh, there's, there's lots of different ways that you can do it. And this is just one of them. So... Um, but that's the basics of uploading uh, files to your web server and how it works and how you can do some simple checks to make sure you're getting um, the size of files that you want and the correct uh, file types. So uh, hopefully that was helpful for you and I'll talk to you again soon.